What is up? So, my day in the lives have changed. I used to play football, that used to be my focus, but they've changed because I stopped playing football, I quit football, I took a break from football, and everything's changed a little bit. I'm doing more of the things that I want to do, I'm filling my day with the things that I want to do, and this video is going to show you exactly what I do in a day. Enjoy. My day always starts the night before with a couple of little things I like to get ready before I go to sleep. Nice big glass of water, my book, and then boom, my clothes laid out. So I can just literally swing out of bed, tan the water, throw the clothes on, and that's me up. There's no way I'm going to be tempted to get back into bed once I've changed, once I've had a big drink of water. So that's the pre-night ritual. The last five minutes is spent laying my clothes out, filling the water up, and then it's bedtime. Morning. The usual. Puffy eyes. Looks like I've been fighting. It's just puffy eye syndrome. Every morning. 6.09, Monday morning. Usual routine. Reading a book. Morning coffee. And then I'm heading off to the gym at 6.30. I like to get up at 6am. Most mornings. Not every morning. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I just hit snooze on the alarm. Or I, or I actually need to sleep. I'm sleeping until 8, 8, half 8. But when I get up at 6, I feel productive. I feel like I get a head start on the world, head start on the day. I can squeeze in a couple of hours of work and things I like to do before anyone else is up. So personally, I think it's super important to take at least an hour every single day for yourself. That's why I get up at 6am because that time in the morning is time for me, time for me to look after myself. I essentially call it a bit of self-care. So I can exercise, I can read, I can do my own thing, which sets me up nicely for the day. Now, you don't have to do it in the morning. As I said, I'm a morning person. You might do it in the evening, you might do it midday, but take an hour to read, listen to a podcast, listen to music, go out a walk, do a training session, and you will honestly feel better and pet better each time you do this. Every day you do this, every week you do this, every month you do this, you'll just feel better in yourself for doing it. But listen, I'm a morning person, not everyone's a morning person, some people prefer working out in the evenings, getting stuff done late in the evenings, but I rise early and go to sleep early. And unfortunately, it is pissing down outside. I sold my car which means I need to walk everywhere, which means I'm walking to the gym in the pissing rain, but I bought an umbrella. A really shit one though. This is what I'm up against. Oh, it is cold out here. My little umbrella is holding up. Look at the scenes, look at the views. Let's go uni. So in the gym today, I'm going to do 30 minutes upper body and lower body work, strength work. My Achilles is still causing me a bit of bother. Sometimes I would have liked to run, but no running. So strength work, 30 minutes swim, 1000 metres. Let's do it. finished up in the gym this is what we did so we went for strength session and a thousand meter swim 
And that was it. Had a wee shave as well. Mondays are shave day. So I'm gonna head back, get the world famous shake, and crack on with some work. What a start to a Monday. Fish oils, probiotics, multivitamins, vitamin D3. Wash down with the world famous shake. All before 9am. 8.56. Now it's time to get on with some work. So right now I'm basically checking in with all the players in the player programme. This is what I do on a Monday morning. I go through, I've got a list of the players that I'm working with and I basically go through, check their progress, make sure they're booked in for a call that week because we have uh, Zoom calls and essentially just put together a summary of how I think they're progressing based on their feedback, based on their compliance with the workouts, um, the pitch sessions, their nutrition, that sort of thing. I'm also preparing for a couple of calls tonight with players that will potentially join the player program. I always like to do this just to make sure that they know what they're getting into and also so I can kind of see what they're like to make sure they're they're suitable for the program. So that's basically what mon Monday morning uh, will entail of. Right now I'm in my bedroom on this wee shitey desk because my flatmate is using, we've got like a kind of home office set up in the kind of kitchen dining room but I'm only here for an hour before I head out so he will get it this morning and I'm going to use it this afternoon for the calls. It's a lovely setup. And I thought I'd show you this things to do today is essentially just loads of lines with things that I write down so to keep me in check, to keep me productive, to keep me focused because I don't have to go anywhere because essentially I'm self-employed with the, with the business I need to be fairly strict with myself in terms of time blocking, like hour blocking throughout the day to make sure that I get things done that I need to get done because there's no one saying Sam get this done by this date so I need to do it myself so I rely on this list for everything um, so I time block it and I write out the things that I need to do that day and it keeps me focused, it keeps me in check I do it every evening, pretty much every evening and that just that means the minute I wake up I know what I need to do so I've just finished up morning of work I need to leave because I've got football sessions with two players, two young players who I'm going to show you very soon. One's an attacking player, one's a defending player, one's a defensive player. I'm going to grab quickly grab something else to eat because I'm working through lunch. So I'll have a bigger breakfast, obviously I had the shake already, going to have some eggs on a bagel thin and then I'll grab some food when I return after. A little snack before dinner. Let's do this. Made it to the pitches. What a beautiful day for it. Got the boots on, the waterproof on, because it's probably going to pass it down. And now it's time to get set up. And not to forget the trusted session plan. There we go. Always a plan. And there we have it. We are set up, ready to go for this session. So, What's going to happen is, player will come in, warm up between the whites, some sprint reactions behind in the multicoloured cones, we will then do a little technical touch game with those cones. We will spin into here, do one passing, two passing drills, and then in the bigger area, where you see loads of poles, we're going to do some 1v1s. Me versus an attacking player and a defending player. Fancy my chances. And then, there's some technical stuff just in there with those little cones and we will finish off with some finishing.
Good, go on, drive. Session one complete, now waiting for session two. The young centre back, Chris McQueen. Session complete with Chrissy. How was it, Chrissy? Good. The best session you've ever done in your life? Probably aye. Who won the 1v1s? Me. What a chance. Session's done, two football sessions done. Now heading back home. I've earned myself a, earned myself a coffee. I quite like to do that sometimes. Incentivise a little bit of work with a treat after. So a coffee it is. No croissant simply because it's Christmas time. In the next few weeks, over December, I'll be eating a lot of food. So I need to be smart and manage it as I can to keep the body fat low. So I am back in the gaff in the house, ready to do some work. It is 3.30, I'm going to have a snack, a little protein yoghurt to keep me ticking over and it's time to get on with some work. I've managed to get my hands on the office, here we go. This is the home office, apparently my desktop is a mess with all these different files everywhere but it's organised chaos. To me, it all makes sense. I know where everything is, I put it there, I like it there. So right now, I'm going to be doing some brainstorming for a new programme that I'm going to launch at the start of May, but it's top secret. But if you know me, if you know what I do, you'll know what kind of programme will be coming out around the time of May. Um, other than that, there's I'm working on these amazing um, specific programmes that are going to come out January, February, March. They're unreal. I can't wait to actually share them. Almost finished those, and yeah, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I'm doing. I'll show you what I spend a lot of my time doing. I just kind of make stuff. Um, I basically think about when I was a player growing up, what I needed most, what I used most, what I utilised most, and I try and shift it into something that players can use now, something accessible. Because obviously, I had access to the world's best, pretty much the some of the world's best coaches scientists, doctors, physios, you name it. And a lot of players don't have access to that. So I'm trying to make things that are accessible. So just finished up on some of the player HQ material. So why we do pitch based fitness, what types of pitch based fitness we should do, what types of strength we should do in the gym, what types of power we should do in the gym, core mobility, prehab, all the reasons why, all the meaning, all the education behind it all. And now it's about time for my first call at 5.30 p.m. with a player in the player program. This is the setup. So we have selfie light, big screen, camera, water, notes. I have three calls this evening. Two with players in the player program and one with potentially a new member who is looking to come on board. I always love connecting with the players. It's good to find out how they're doing and we can build a really personal relationship as well, which is what I want. I want them to feel comfortable, I want them to feel comfortable to ask questions, because when they start asking questions, it's when they get the best outcomes, because they get the most feedback, they learn the most, and they completely change the things that they've been doing. Call's done, completed. So I had a really great chat with one player who is looking to come on board the player programme. He is just coming back from an injury, so he's gonna get cleared by the physio before making a decision. And I had two great catch-ups with two players on the player programme. One who's just began, and the other one has just finished. Two brilliant players who have worked their socks off so far. And now, I'm gonna get some dinner. I have to light a wee candy, just to get those smells. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm editing a wee video. Editing a wee video first, and then, and then dinner. And it's a meal prep, it's not very good, but that'll do the job. All right, that is me signing off. I'm gonna get my dinner, I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna get the feet up, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna listen to a bit of a podcast, and I'm gonna head to bed. 10 p.m. bedtime, always. That is my golden rule. Well, 10 p.m. in bed for 10 p.m., I sleep before 11, 
perfect. Allows me to get up at 6 a.m. And that, my friends, is the new day in the life of Sam. And I kind of love it. Thanks for joining. Don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Go and check out some of the videos in the Footballer's Physical Checklist. If you're a football player and you want to change your game, the things in the Footballer's Physical Checklist that will change your game is the things that I use with the players in the player programme and the players I work with. Go and check it out. I promise you, it will change your life forever. See you in the next video.